Hello, today I'm going to talk about uh, depreciation and disposal of assets, which can sometimes be a, a tricky area just to get, uh, to get your head around. So let's assume, for example, that this company has a vehicle which it purchased for £20,000. Okay, so it paid cash, it bought the vehicle for £20,000. And it intends to hold this vehicle uh, for four years, okay? So it's going to hold it for four years. And it's going to be worth scrap at the end okay so let's assume that there's no no value left of this vehicle at the end of four years so it, it purchased it for twenty thousand it's going to hold it for four sell it for scrap so that gives if we use straight line depreciation that gives five thousand pounds per year so nice simple straightforward figures okay so in the asset account there's going to be a vehicle of twenty thousand pounds in a debit side so we've credited bank we've paid cash for it and there's the vehicle sitting as an asset, okay, when it was purchased. Depreciation is not put into the asset account. It's put into a separate account, which is a contra asset account. Um, and that is called accumulated depreciation. So each year that depreciation is charged, it goes into accumulated depreciation for the amount that was determined for that asset at the start. In this case, £5,000 per year in year one, Accumulated depreciation, £5,000. So at the end of year one, if somebody said, well, what are your assets worth? They would have looked at the cost of 20000 the accumulated depreciation of five, and they would have said, we have a net book value of this car of £15,000. At the end of year two, when another £5,000 of straight line depreciation has been charged, the net book value is reduced down to 20 minus 10, which is £10,000. So it's all quite straightforward, stuff that you probably know already, okay? So at the end of two years, they decide to sell it. They were going to hold it for four years, but they've decided to sell it at the end of its second year um, of its life. So what actually happens then is the, the asset that's in the assets account and its relevant depreciation from the accumulated depreciation account, both of those, if you like, are sucked out of those accounts and put together in an asset disposal account. So for the first time, they're going to be combined into one ledger account. Previously, they were in an asset account and a contra asset account. So what happens there, and I'll take you through this bit, is that asset at its price is taken out of this account. So we have to credit that, and very simple, you credit that, and you put the asset down here. So that is now, those are now balanced out, okay? So here it is, it's now sitting here at 20,000 pounds. The accumulated depreciation do exactly the same thing. So we have to do 10,000 pounds on this side and we put 10,000 pounds here, okay? So that asset is now sitting in the asset disposal account. We have 20,000 pounds of cost and 10,000 pounds of accumulated depreciation. So somebody comes along and they say, well, I'm going to buy that for £8,000 and we decide to sell it for £8,000, okay? So let's think for a moment. We purchased it for 20 and it has an accumulated depreciation so far of 10. So we think in our minds, this is probably worth £10,000, but yet we've sold it for eight. So it feels like a loss of two, okay? So let's just work through that. So somebody's given us £8,000. So here's a little bank ledger account. So we know we can debit bank £8,000 money going into the bank and we credit here £8,000. Okay. So now we have 20000 of a balance on this side and we only have 18000 on this side. So we have to put another two here to balance that off. So what is that two and where does it go? So that two is a loss on disposal. Loss on disposal of fixed asset, okay? So we're still in the asset disposal account. We've had to credit the asset disposal account by £2,000. So now we have to debit the income statement. So it's an expense. So expenses in our income statement, friend, all our expenses are here under the debit column. So those would be the typical expenses such as cost of goods sold, heat, light and power, repairs, etc. And then there'll be a separate category and that would be the loss Loss on disposal, okay, and that's 2,000 pounds. 
So that's basically how that loss, how the asset then gets sold, records a loss, and then that loss hits the income statement. So that's not an actual money. I mean, a lot of these are actual money expenses, you know, ultimately these will be money going out and this will be money coming in, assuming that it's all collected. This isn't actually a cash figure. This is a loss on disposal figure, okay? So just be aware that this is not actual cash, but yet it's still gonna reduce the profit. Let's look for a very quick moment. If this, for example, was sold not at 8,000 pounds, but say at 14,000 pounds, Okay, so we had bought it for 20. We thought it was, we thought we had 10,000 pounds of, of value taken out of it. So we think it's probably worth 10 now. We managed to sell it for 14. So that becomes 24,000. So now all of a sudden we have to put the balancing figure on this side of 4,000 to make 24,000. So because we've debited the asset disposal account, now we credit the income statement. And if we're crediting the income statement, that's a gain on sale. Gain on sale of 4,000. So that's ultimately gonna improve the profitability of the company at the end of the year. But again, it's not a cash figure, it's a gain on sale. The cash figures were the 20,000 that went out at the start and the 14,000 that came back in. This is a balancing figure because our depreciation in reality should have been um, 4,000 pounds less than it was, okay? And if we, had, if we had calculated depreciation correctly at the start, this would have been a figure of six and 14, which would have made 20, but we didn't. We overexpensed in the first two years. So now we have a gain here of 4,000 pounds. So that's just to have a quick look at depreciation and in particular, the disposal of fixed assets and how it all flushes its way through onto the uh, statement of profit and loss. Hope that's helpful. Thank you.